Okay. Um, so what are the structural isomers of C3H9N? So all of our uh, structural isomers are going to be um, some different configuration of these elements uh, around the molecule, not symmetric versions, so uh, not swapping, but just different in different positions in the molecule. Um, so since there's uh, hydrogens, we know are going to be kind of tagged on the end, and uh, the carbon backbone uh, might interchange with the nitrogen, but basically these things are going to define our, our structure. So uh, we could have something which looks like this, just um, just running through basically. So I, I largely do it by just guessing and then seeing what comes out. Uh, remember that nitrogen wants to have three bo bonded entities, whereas carbon wants four. Um, so there's three, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's C3H9N, so that looks good. Um, so now swapping the position of the nitrogen and the carbon. So we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that looks good. Um, so these two are isomers. Um, and now, um, so now I've kind of swapped them in the chain. Now, now looking at branches. So we could have C, C, N. And we can count up the hydrogens here, three, six, seven, eight, nine. So that looks good. And it's different from these two. Um, so we can't stick it on the end here because that would just be the same. Um, <clears throat> and so instead uh, we can swap the position of, of these two. And so we'd get something like like this. And I believe that's about it. That's about all I can think of. Um, so again, there's not really a great rule of thumb that I have for how to, to know how when you've gotten enough structural isomers, um, other than that the constituents that can multiply bond are going to need to move throughout the structure. So, and in this case, um, I just tried the nitrogen as an end and as a um, swapped with the end basically and then coming off of the center and swapped and then from there it's just going to be the same molecule over and over again right so you, if you try to move uh, the nitrogen over to this guy well that's just the same as the ones above so it looks like there's uh, four structural isomers um, all the ones that I've shown here so if we look at the solution here so we've got nitrogen coming off the end, so um, <clears throat> that's my isopropylene, or sorry, propylamine. Um, and then right below it is, is the isopropylamine uh, here. And uh, trimethylamine is this guy. Or sorry, N, 
ethylamine is this guy and then my trimethylamine is down here okay and so uh, those are the four that I found um, and so I believe that's it and that's so I believe this is correct.